Hello, 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 and welcome back to something a little new, something a little fun. We're going to try and do a little bit of diversity while we're having issues with other things. So this is Peglin. It's a game I actually really enjoy playing a little bit in my spare time. Um, we're going to turn that off for now. So we'll do a very basic run for this first one, just to kind of show you guys what the game is and what you can do with it. And then maybe we'll we'll mess around with some of some of this stuff and some of the new characters that have been added and whatnot. But for now, let's see about going through and giving it a go. So when you first start the game, you get an option of three relics. So let's have a look. Six health when reloading isn't bad. Wall bounces contribute to damage, not bad. Heal one for every ball hit successfully navigating after battle. This not bad either. Um, uh, let's take let's take damage to start with. I think damage is good. So in this game, you're basically going through levels like this. It's kind of like a a bit of a roguelike game. I think that's correct in saying. Um, you basically, you start in levels like this, and you've got these, these balls, and you're basically trying to deal as much damage as possible to the enemies on the screen. So these do two damage for every regular ball hit, or four damage if I hit a, um, if I hit a crit, and then I hit other balls. So we can show that off if I do this. Now we're critting, so our damage is going up super high. And you can make some really wacky builds because you can get different balls and different power-ups and stuff. And I think that's what we're going to aim to do is try and see how wacky of a build we can make and how far we can take it. I do like this game though. It's a very much a uh, turn your mind off and just kind of relax um, and just kind of just go with the flow a little bit, which is nice. Uh, getting money, so these balls with the little golden orbs in them is also very handy um, because money is what you use to um, do upgrades to your balls and uh, buy all sorts of things. You also see that when I hit the wall I get extra damage given to me. That's because that perk we took at the start there. It's actually done as very good taking that. Yeah, see, 147 and that, some of that was because of that extra damage perk. So that is very good. Perfect. And that's this level done. So then we get an option to buy some new orbs. Double-edged swarb. Uh, when drawn, self-damage uh, equal to number of pegs popped. Eh. Uh, instead of ex exiting the peg board, this orb will return to the top of the peg. Uh, no. Doubles the amount of... Oh, I see, okay. Got it. See, this would be quite cool if we could get something with spin fiction. Um, let's take this. Because doubling the amount, if we read it again, each turn an enemy has spin fiction, it X, basically. Lose 10 times that. So if it has 10 on it, it'll lose 100 that turn, right? Let's take it. That might be really useful with a boss if we can get another um, spin fiction thing. Um, so, we're heading down to here obviously, but we can choose our path. So chests are just power-ups, bosses are more difficult, but you get power-ups at the end. So realistically, maybe going here, 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 then here, 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 here. Yeah, that's probably the best amount of stuff we can do. So let's just tick on down to a question mark. Uh, you find a clearing uh, directly in the center. There's a nook with brambles. Um, I, it'll give you a bramble orb. I don't really care for it, so we'll just give it a little, little shake. Oh no! Oh no! Go the right direction. Sometimes navigating can be a little. <laughs> but we get our second power up. So prevent the 
first time you would lose health in each battle or orbs start with five worth of damage. Let's take the extra damage. We'll go for a real heavy damage run. And then we said we want to go this way. Five worth of damage can be really good. Um, Okie dokie. So let's try and farm a little bit of money in this level because as you can see upcoming there's another three slimes that will eventually join the the board so we kind of want to make sure that most of them are on the board as possible so that we can um uh we can do the most amount of damage like right now oh this does no damage but just doubles i see okay good to know I didn't actually read that at the time. Um, let's see if we can start to, yeah, trigger some of these bombs. That's what we like to see. I think they're all dead now with the bombs triggered. Boom. Lovely. Okay, so we're looking for something that will do uh, this. Does this, if I upgrade this? Oh, so it will do damage if we upgrade it. I think that's worth doing. Because we don't really want an orb that does no damage in our deck. Um... So now we want to head towards the boss. Can we maybe farm some more money while doing this? Eek. Eek. Yeah, we got a little bit more money. So, this could be the end of the run, or we could do quite well. Some of these bosses early stage can be really annoying. What we'll do is we'll swap out for you. And this should hopefully give us a, a pretty good start to damage if we can hit that reload oh we did okay thank god yeah look at that it's like half his health gone straight away perfect he's going to do a lot of damage when he gets close to us so the better we can do early on he is most appreciated if we can go down towards that crypt maybe well we got the refresh at least the refresh is probably the more helpful thing to get um What's this do again? Same, same stuff. I think we're going to risk it so we can discard just to move to the next ball. Only because the reload will give us more opportunities to get the crit orb again. And that seems to be the thing saving us right now. Um, come on, go down and get a crit. Yes. Oh, we were so close. That was our chance of getting a crit. Okay. Okay, so we start with the crit orb at least. So we only need to do 140 odd. Come on. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little more. I didn't see the extra seven. Oh, okay, right. Oh, and this is exactly what we want. Applies two to any target. Okay, so we definitely want this, because that now goes along with this. This will still only double. This, on the other hand, if we upgrade it, will apply four. So if we do that and then we double it, that's eight. That's very good. Okay, so another relic, because we, of course, defeated the boss. So the board will contain two additional reloads. That's pretty good. Heal one for every 12 pegs done. Or whenever you heal lost health. Oh, I see. Deal three times that. So I might take the reloads for now, because if we want... Actually, that's probably not great for the build we're doing. Mm. No, we probably should have taken the corn. That's my bad. Uh, either side doesn't really matter right now, as long as we don't go in the middle, which is the fire, which will just deal damage to us. Oh, we're going to do it anyway. Cool. <laughs> so we take two points of damage there. It's a bit annoying, but uh, another two points of damage. Just because I'm trying to get some gold as well. That's fine. Four damage we can live with. So another question mark. Question marks can be really good. Uh, so you find a forge, hot and ready to smelt, yet oddly unattended. You think you could use it, but your little peglin hands uh, aren't made for the heat. So we can use the forge to upgrade a random orb, or use your satchel to scoop the forge up and get a special relic. Let's get the special relic. Uh, whenever an orb is added to your deck, upgrade it and loot, but lose four health. I mean, that's pretty good. Four health lost for a free upgrade. I'll take any day. Uh, now we want to go towards the boss. 
if doable. Not the question mark, not the question mark, not the question mark. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool. So another boss means more relics, means more good. Okie dokie, right. Oh, and we've got the perfect starting setup actually, because this will apply four and then we double it straight away. Beautiful. Ooh, and a refresh. This is a nice looking map actually, lots of, uh, lots of balls. He might actually die, right? He takes 40 damage, yeah, look at that. So we can now bin this and we can just, we can deal some damage to this guy, knowing though, full well, that this guy is going to get doubled his spinification as well, but die. Okay, I like that build. I like that build. I think we can we can make something kind of quirky out of it. Um, trying not to use the. Oh, we should actually be aiming for the bombs now, but this guy dies. Okay, that's fine. We need to be aiming to get into this middle area. I think pretty badly. Uh, that is not going to do that, but it is going to open it up for us. So maybe that's a, a good, a good round. I don't know. Let's see. Where are we at? Ugh, only stones to start with. Not great. Let's get rid of one, and let's start. Oh, could not have gone worse. Could not have gone worse. Oh god, we're going to start to take some damage. Let's try and get this back, boy some damage on him, shall we? Yes, okay, this is good. Because this says it c can target any enemy, which is really good for us. The bombs will hit everyone as well. Um, and then we can double the amount of poison we put on him next turn as well. So he's got four now, he'll take 40 damage, and then we're gonna double it with this one. Go on, get in the middle, get us a bomb. Come on, get us a bomb. I mean, a, a crit is still nice, but a bomb, not getting a bomb, okay. But we are killing the big guy, it looks like, who is gonna be the biggest problem to us anyway. So that's fine. Now we can just work on taking out the other two, which shouldn't be that hard. Oh, and we got the bomb, perfect. The other guy's dead, and we only lost a little bit of health for this boss fight. I can't really complain at that at all. Bing bong, lovely. Oh. Oh, we didn't finish it. I see. My hubris. <laughs> I can also speed up the hits just to, to finish some of the fights when like when your when your builds get a bit dumb. Ooh. Do we care for that though? Applies one to everyone. I don't think that's as great as we think it would be. Versus maybe like upgrading this to apply six. Yeah, I, I don't think that's gonna do us as well as we think we, we think it'll do. Cause that's, yeah, I think, no. No, uh, I think, I think we're gonna, we're gonna say no to that. We might take the heal though. Um, oh, okay, here we go, right. So, Whenever a shield is destroyed, gain five ball walk, which is like just shield for us. Uh, prevent the first time you would take lethal damage each battle. I think we're gonna take the popping corn, which we wanted to take last time, to be fair. Um, so again, either way is fine, actually. So let's just maybe hit a coin or two on our way down. Oh God, I thought it was gonna bounce us straight to the fire there. Um, and we ping our way down to here, right? What are we getting? Uh, when enemy is hit, uh, when an enemy hits you with a melee attack, apply ten blind. So blind has a percentage chance to miss, or one more refresh. Let's just let's just keep chucking in the refreshes. Why not? Um, and we could take the fight, or we could take the question mark. I'm gonna take the question mark. I don't think we need the fight, whereas the question mark can have some ability to remove some orbs, and we could do with losing some stones. Aha! So this one's actually a shop. Um, if we had enough to buy that as well, that would be nice. I think it might be worth to start removing some of our stones. 
Um, it did cost us 30, but now we are more likely to get our spinification stuff. Uh, and we want the chest now. Give me that sweet, sweet relic. Love it. Okay. Right, increase your max health or heal two every time the board's refreshed. We've got a lot of refreshes actually, so let's take that. Uh, and now I don't think it matters all the way down. So we can just tick on down. Hope for maybe a a, a good question mark that will help us remove some stuff. Ooh, duplicate an orb. We could duplicate this orb, which means we have more chance to provide... Ugh do the spinification which is good yeah I like that I like that so we're healed every time it refreshes which is sweet um, look at all that health we're getting actually because we've got what one two three four five refreshes on the board we get rid of this uh, and then let's just yeah I mean it doesn't matter right because these, these balls are more about applying the the damage over time rather than giving out big damage to start with. So he will die. Um, let's get rid of our stone and let's just keep on trucking. The wall bounces is quite good actually. I think we were quite lucky to have taken that at the start. Oh, I mean we are just, every hit with the the poison balls, we are literally getting a kill on, which is quite good. We could do with, yes, that crit. We're just one hit killing everything right now. We could do with a bomb though. A bomb would be nice. I wouldn't, I wouldn't complain at one. Um, hello. Hello you. Uh, please leave me be. That's at least the start of a bomb. Bombs take two hits unless you have like a special relic. There we go. That's gonna give us a bit of breathing room. Because the next guys all die, basically, from spinification stuff. He dead. Bang. Dead. He's gonna die before he even hits us. Because, uh, again, the poison. Poison is good. He dead. And then we only need to do 60 to this... Oh, he didn't die. Oh, well, he died at the end of his turn, yeah. We only need to do 60 to this guy. So if we can arc this... And hit the crit. There we go. Bang. Dead. Absolute. Played like a pro, that. Bang. Dead. Perfect. Uh, I don't think any of this is what we're after. This might be worth upgrading now. Uh, and we're going into the boss anyway, so definitely worth upgrading. And let's just go. So, let's have a look. So this boss is interesting. We're a little bit lucky, but basically there's a tree in the way. So we can't do any damage to the boss until it's in front of us. But because we've got our two orbs that can attack any enemy, we'll do quite well in this. For now though, we'll just do our first round of damage. Which probably won't be much, and it's not going to even do that much to the main boss. So, we'll kind of just throw the ball out there and just see. The bomb will do a bit of damage, which is nice. But otherwise, we're hitting the tree. This round, again, we're not hitting anything major. So we'll probably just throw that out. There we go. Um, again, not great to get the, the double spinification when we don't have any actual spinification stuff on yet. But that's fine. 100 damage is still 100 damage, you know. Uh, and now we can start to rip into him because we now have the um, the two balls that will apply 12 in total to him. Uh, we can probably do with hitting the bomb a little bit there because the, the, the little plants are going to get a bit annoying because we're not hitting them, we're hitting the boss. Oh, so close. Yeah, we kill him next round. Uh, we could even probably just do this. And he's probably gone now, in fact. 
because the bomb will do that and then bang done and you don't need to clear any of the other enemies it's just done perfect uh we uh, we save our money i think i don't think there's anything that we want here really nothing is great for us so let's continue so these relics are normally a bit better than the other ones so cursed mask you get a lot of damage um you start with confusion four which means you're you'll spin a lot it's not thrilling pegs have durable that means they have to be activated three times in one shot before they break that's pretty good all orbs get plus four but there's one less reload and we've got plenty of reloads I think we take that right although that does rely on us having lots of crits um, maybe we take the durable actually because we have a lot of reloads and that means we can kind of stack our damage it's gonna slow our game down a heavy amount but we'll see so we now move on to the next area there's three levels in total so this is level two so there's different enemies here and all sorts but we should be good so you'll see now things don't break until they're hit three times so we're probably gonna end up speeding this up a fair bit because ugh, this would take a long time to watch in normal speed and every time we hit a reload obviously it takes another three just to be able to uh, knock through this um, let's hit the reload for the sake of it it's not like we're doing a huge amount there that's fine there we go crit so we'll be able to do plenty of damage with the crits now. Maybe we should definitely try and upgrade our our crit orb now that we're durable. Because all we need to hit is one um, one um, crit orb to get plenty of crit damage out now. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, so this gains Bulwark, uh, which is not useful for us. Bulwark. No, just a dag orb. No, so let's let's maybe upgrade our dag orb like we said. Let's have a look at the map now. So it's probably best to go this way round. Yeah, let's try and go that way, which is actually the way we've cleared out more anyway, which is fine for us. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I don't think we want any of this, so we'll just throw the ball out there and we get the option to skip it. So we're going to skip it because it's nothing that we really are after. Uh, this one, these are mirrors, so they will uh, reflect a percentage of the damage dealt to them back. So we kind of have to make sure we do finish them if we're going to start to kill them. Um, but as you can see, it's happening on both sides of the screen, so it's it's a it's a fun level but you're most likely to kill uh, again this man might not though and you'll see he'll oh I thought he was supposed to reflect then not sure maybe I don't understand the mirrors as well as I thought <laughs> with a high likelihood okay oh but now we can double his poison we've never done this properly 20 dead love that okay so we'll give it a refresh and then whiz on through we could do with hitting a crit lovely and that's that one done um spin s yeah, okay pointless it's like finesse i guess bulwark nothing great we could for the sake of it upgrade this um just to stay top game because I don't think we're hitting a shop on this floor these are the shops um, and sometimes they're, they're very useful to hit but a lot of the time they're kind of like out of your way oh there we go we're keeping it on 3x speed now just because there's there's a lot, lot going on that it just makes more sense I think we're going to target the plants first because they are behind the mirrors and they'll shoot us and it's very annoying um, get that plant dead next plant and then that'll make this level much safer and less likely to cause me a huge amount of damage taken god you can see why this is 3x if I slow this down 
this is the normal speed. So we're going to stay on 3x, I think, <laughs> for a while. Durable does slow down the game quite heavily, but it's definitely worth it um, because you get so much more damage out. just means you have to blitz through a little bit because otherwise you're going you're gonna to be here for forever. Um, let's just do that. It doesn't matter. We're, we're pretty much killing on most shots now. The one thing I'd like to do is get rid of these two and then our deck will be looking pretty good. Oh no. What's the boss we're facing on this one actually? The big wall. Okay. He's fun. He's scary. So hopefully we can keep this, uh, this damage output up. Uh, it would be nice to slow it down actually for the shot. Because I'd like to... There we go. And then we speed it up again. Because that'll mean it's definitely a kill. Because, of course, the Dag Orb doesn't do that much when it's not critting. It does 1 versus the 13 damage for a crit. So it's very useful. Oh, I thought that was more spinification. Nothing looks great, so let's just continue on. Let's get our next relic. Uh, blinding again? Or moves after every shot. Let's do that because we've got plenty of stuff to do with um, our reloads right now anyway and having them move is always good. Um, let's just go for it I guess. The We've got both of our poison orbs straight away and we've hit all of the bombs. Uh, yeah I mean sure. I don't I don't think there's any smart way of doing this. We are just going to have to chip away at them one at a time. But that is fine. He dies. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure we, de oh, we don't actually kill there because we had a poor shot. Uh, let's see if we get oh, another really bad shot, you know. And that's because these stones are just not valuable to us anymore. Like They're just not pulling their weight as much as the rest of our deck is. Uh, let's do this, in fact, though. Because um, while we may not... Oh, sometimes if it gets stuck, it will just end. Um, because it doesn't know what to do. And with durable, that happens a couple times. Ooh, okay, so we could... Let's take this. And then it will have already upgraded once because of this relic. We can upgrade it a second time, and now we have this that applies six. Oh, but this one can attack any enemy. This one attacks only one enemy. Okay, that's still fine, though. I think that's still fine. Um, it's a little bit less good, but not bad. Uh, you encounter a weathered old peglin flipping a poker chip through their nimble fingers. Do you consider yourself a gambler? First time. I think that takes a couple times sometimes. Um, bottom slots gain multipliers that double or half your damage. We're going for a wacky build. Let's take it. Plus our damage isn't really what we're, we're after anyway, is it? We want to go over here. Um, our damage is not necessarily what we're after. We're more after applying debuffs in this build. So that's not the worst. Um, okay, so 2x damage, 2x damage, got it. So, I mean, it's 2x damage is still 2x damage, don't get me wrong, like, I'm not going to complain at it. Uh, he won't die on his turn, and that's fine with me. Um, so they move, though, so now the 2x is below us, but we do do 2x, there you go. Um, he dies, though. Okay. I'm kind of not aiming for the two X's, but it's it's a happy luxury if we get them. Nice, perfect. We should be aiming for this guy at the back now. Um, but it's pointless to aim for him, question mark? I don't know, we'll see. Feels pointless, but at the same time, killing him early, or at least doing some damage to him, doesn't feel super pointless. Right? Like, that's him de- Oh, that target's just the front one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget. I forget. I forget. Uh, we need health. Oh, well, actually, we're not doing too bad. Because we've got all of our things that will heal us, like the reloads heal us and stuff, don't they? Yeah. 
There we go. I think we can leave him now and we can focus on the front guy because he should die over time. It's at least the, the thought. Um, so we double the poison on this guy. Or just kill him outright. He dies, yeah, he dies basically next turn. Beautiful. Let's keep aiming for those re reloads, obviously, because they will uh, give us the, the health as well. Uh, more reloads is more health, more health is more good. Uh, 2x, that's fine. He dies, actually, as well. Perfect. You know what? This build, for, for how confusing it is, is working quite nicely. We actually finished with 100% health there. Um... And we get another relic. So whenever you defeat a non-minion enemy, gain one max health. Ooh. Whenever you lose health, deal 2x that damage to all enemies. Every reload, which is when we finish our balls, brings balance, which grants us more damage. Um, defeat a non-minion enemy. I think we'll take this. Whenever you lose health, deal 2x that to all enemies. Because that just means every time someone hits us, we just bash them back, basically. Um, I think then the next best route is to maybe go this way round. Because um, we don't need a lot of stuff from the other way round. See if we can... Oh, shoot. But oh, that's fine. Gave us the better angle. That's fine. Uh, so we get another thing here. Every reload grants to Mer Circle. Mer. You're immune to attack during reload. Oh, okay, let's take that. The round guard's pretty good. And then we're going this way round. Uh, okay. So let's just aim for... Oh, we have to aim for this guy, right? Yeah, okay, that's fine then. Let's just dink on through, shall we? Not to the 0.5, to the 2x. Ah, uh, 0.5 is fine. Still not bad. It's actually pretty bad. Um, 0.5 again. Okay, great. Great, great, great. But he's on 11 now. 10. We could double it. Should we double it and pass it to the next person? That's this build, isn't it? Double it or pass it to the next person, basically. That's legit what this build is. That's funny. Just the meme build. Um, oh, really? Come on. Stop dealing out so much damage to us, please. Please. Have mercy. Uh, <laughs> classic. Oh, but they take 2x damage for punching me, yeah. Okay, whiz through this. This guy should pretty much just die. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, we could take another one just to start really bulking out our deck. But I don't think that's what we want because we've got plenty now. We just need to get rid of those. So let's heal and then move on. Want to be full health for the boss, obviously. Oh, yes, off a stone. Uh, and it just upgraded one of our stones. So we lost a stone to get a better stone. That's fine. Uh, whenever you would gain health instead... In... Wait. Whenever you... When you would gain max health, increase the number by one. I see. Or activating multiple crits, increase the damage. Okay. So we're going to take this. This just means if we hit one, we get crit damage. If we hit another, we get more crit damage. Which is just more damage. And for this guy, that is a good thing. Um, so, we're just going to have to try... Oh, we're going towards the 0.5. No, please, sir. Yes, okay. So this guy, he is going to eat these two. Um, so we don't have to worry about them as much. Um, but we do want to apply as much poison to him as possible. Poison is good for me bad for him. Right. He's on five. Let's keep going. Keep chipping away at that poison. 
11. Let's just skip this. Let's double the poison. More poison, more good. More good, more poison. 20. If we get the double again, yes. We're looking to poison this boy to death. The build is no damage, pure poison. Well, I mean some damage, but still. Pure poison. <laughs> Just gonna keep pushing on the poison. Poison. You will suffer the poison. Can we get him to 50 poison? I think if we do, we unlock a new character as well. Which I think is doable with this one, right? Because this will apply 6, which should take him to 51. Hey, I think we just got an achievement and unlocked a new character, which is sweet. And we can finish him with the poison as well. Die by our poisonous blade. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bathe in it. We could take another one. This would just give us another level three one. And the only reason I haven't have taken the other ones is because the other ones are the ones that can't attack any enemy. Let's do that. We take four damage, but we get a level three orb again, which is pretty good. So this is pretty bad because that's going to minus our damage, but give us damaged tiles. But that's literally going to turn our things to zero, zero. Uh, every three hit provides explosive force until it's refreshed though, which is not great for us. Um, well, that's not bad for us though. Uh, they get more base damage, but one less uh, crit. And we're not really focusing on crits, we're focusing on reloads. So actually, if we do that, we should be pretty good. So now we go into floor three. Right. I mean, it shouldn't really matter about this first orb. But if we get the 2x damage, we'd probably just kill. Oh no, we don't. Turns out, we don't. Uh, we just survive. That's fine. Dead now. Got it. Uh, nothing for us, and upgrading an orb is pointless. So we continue on. Oh, we need to look at the map, though. Okay, if we go this way, we can actually hit a shop, which would be pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go towards a shop, at least. We can buy some relics, so we've got a fair bit of money. And we can also... Ooh, okay. Uh, so after you are, uh, you are attacked, the attacker receives damage equal... No, we don't have all of uh, Contribute to damage, that's pretty good for us. Uh, and start with that. So realistically, we want something along this side. Of course, we, it's not what we want at all. Um, so I'm not taking it. <laughs> Quite simply, it was the worst out of the two options for us. <laughs> Three options, even. Uh, ooh, duplicate a random orb, and we hope for the doubling one. Toil and Trouble, uh, which is, I think, just one of these, right? Yeah. We realistically would have done with this quite nicely, but that's fine. Uh, no, not that way. No. Uh, well, we still go to the shop at least. I think the shop is worth it long term. It's just a bit annoying. And we take damage because that goddamn fire. Right. Don't go to the fire. Go to the 2x. Ah. Oh. Christ. He dies though. Yes. Uh, get rid of that. Go on. Just. Go away. Go away, dirty stone. Give me that reload. Damn it. I can't even... Oh, there you go. That's fine. Uh, poison begins. You feel it coursing through your veins as we slowly weaken you with poison. It's just a, like an assassin build. Don't even need the full damage. Um... Don't need any of that. To the shop. So we can finally remove 
this for 30. Okay, and let's have a look at what we can. We could technically buy it all. Um, board will contain an additional. Nah. Bombs detonate in one hit is always good. Uh, and these two are kind of pointless to us. So let's leave that for now. Where are we going after this? Okay, let's think. Let's think. Uh, I think what this route makes the most sense. So going maybe, we take the question marks, I think. At least we, we have a chance of getting some cool stuff. And then we go down the their next route. Ooh, special relic. I do love a relic. Uh, what's this? Steal one health from selected enemy for every five hit. Done. I love a special relic. And we want to go this way. There we go. And then we want to go that way. Um, oh, look at that. It's almost so set up. If these two were at the bottom, we'd be looking sweet. Uh, but let's just, let's just go for it. We could do with getting rid of, um, our, um, the crit orb now as well. That would probably be the next, like, best thing to get rid of for us. Because we're just not, um, we're not critting as much anymore. Whereas we are relying on bombs and reloads to deal as much base damage. Um, but that's fine. Ooh, no. He's going to hurt us, I think. Um, I think these front guys are going to... I think if they get too close to us, they blow us up. Yeah. Don't want that to happen. Um, at all. In fact, would rather not get blown up. Oh, shoot. We need to hit bombs. That's not doing it for us. He needs to die this turn, which he does. Oh, okay. That did nothing to us. Oh, because we don't take damage while reloading. <gasps> I think that just saved our life. I genuinely think that just saved us from immediate death. Holy. <laughs> okay. Um... Pointless still. Although that would have been very good, that, that battle. Um, man, that was close to bad. Uh, so we want to go this way. Nope. This way. Nope. This way. Nope. This way. Yes. <laughs> Only took a couple of attempts there. Uh... Ooh, okay. So this one's not as good because, again, we're not um, taking a lot of crits right now, but this one, every 30 pegs hit convert to a bomb, I will take, because then that matches with our thing. <gasps> and because we've got this, right, detonating one hit, we have the possibility of, if I can blow up all of these bombs, we get another relic. No. Okay. We tried. We tried. It, there's another one that will detonate bombs around you that helps do that quite nicely, um, but that's fine. Uh, let's target these boys to start with. I don't want to be blown up, please. Dead. Right. Uh, I think this is the right move to target them, but I'm not entirely sure. We're staying on good health, and that's the main thing. Oh, we could have done with reduced self-damage, because these red bombs damage us as well, I think. But, yeah. What's a little bit of damage to us? Ooh, that, we do less damage with that. Um, when we're not cr when we're critting. We have to keep an eye on that, actually. Some of these... Yeah, we do less damage now when we crit. Okay. We need to get rid of the crits, then, off the board. Come on, let's get it, let's get it. Kill this boy. Dead. Lovely. Uh, we're not going to take that. Uh, we don't really need to heal. So let's just move on to the boss. Yeah, that makes sense. Or struggle a lot to get there. There we go. <laughs> right. Upside down, man. Uh, let's just see what we can do. Bombs galore. 
give us all the bombs. Not the worst side we could have gone to. Uh, straight to the refresh. Ah, oh, come on, the other one didn't go that far. Uh, we need to hit the... Cr Why are some of them going real far and some of them not going that much distance? I'm so confused. Okay, taking a bit of damage, but now we're going to double his poison. 28 he's on. It's going to deal a good bit of damage to us, but... He's dead. Okay, I think we are going to take the heal. Um... Because we don't want to get into... Ooh, okay, there's some nice stuff here. Um, start with two times as many bombs. That's quite nice. Uh, that's bad for us. Ember branch. When apply... Ah, oh, we're not using bramble. So I think bomblet makes sense. Um, we need health. We took a fair bit of damage in that one. Uh, oh, God, look at this. Nightmare. Um, but a lot of bombs on the board, and we make bombs, and they explode in one hit. So, we could do a fair chunk. Yeah, look, I mean, look at the the, re the health regain we just got there. That's pretty good. Uh, another bomb straight off the bat. Ooh, I thought it was going to get that 2x then. I was quite excited for a, a cheeky 2x. Let's target him, because we'll kill him with just the pegs hit. Look at this, he's just dying. Dying from all the pegs we hit. There you go, gone, gone. Beauty foul. We don't even need anything from those guys. Just for them to die. Oh, shoot. Um, there we go. Right, stones, pointless. This one is the only reasonable option. Take it. Look how many relics we've got, we're doing good. Ooh, okay, so this guy's unique. We have to hit balls to be able to kill him. Nothing else does damage to him as far as I remember. So, it's just about hitting as much stuff as possible. Which with durable, I imagine we, we do all right. But I'm not sure actually. Okay, cool, we do, we do, we do, that's fine. Uh, continue. And we're going into the boss. This is the, the end of the run. As long as we can get that kill, we're looking pretty good. So this is a very new boss to me that I've not faced often. What is that? Two? Don't know. We hit it anyway. Oh, we got the 2x. Oh, we can't see the multipliers. I see. That's also a good thing to look out for. Uh, so now we're going to double his... Uh, what is this? 1x. Okay, still not bad. It's not bad. I won't complain at a 1x. And we're going to double his poison. Uh, I think this side makes the most sense. Because we might be able to get that. Ah, we didn't. He burned us. He burned us a little bit. It's fine. We're poisoning him more than he's burning us. Ooh, though he did a lot of damage there. Okay, we need, we need to heal a lot more than we're doing. Uh, we need to, like, really heal. Oh no! Oh no! He's on 63, and that's a lot of damage for us to be putting out. Oh, he killed us. That's how it goes sometimes. That's a really hard one to chunk through. Um... So we've unlocked a new character, um, and we've unlocked some of these orbs in, and relics in custom. So we can have a look at the new character we just unlocked there. So we just unlocked the Roundrel. Uh, so starting relic is the Round Reliquy, I think, or Reliquence. Uh, attacks apply random debuffs to enemies. We also, I've already unlocked this in just free play as I go, the Baldroik. Uh, which is start each battle with four ball walk. But anyway, that was a little bit of Peglin. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know if you like me playing some different things or if you just want me to focus on Minecraft. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to, to show off some other things. For now, have a good one and I'll see you in the next one. Oh wow, you've actually made it this far. Okay, um, three things. Um, 
don't forget to maybe watch another video, I don't know which side I'm on. These ones, or this or this, there's a box with a video. Um, consider subscribing and maybe like the video, leave a comment, I'll, I'll say hello, anything. Go, go wild! <laughs>